Hello, I'm Matt Gote. I'm the instructor at the HVAC Heating, Ventilation, Air Conditioning, Refrigeration Program at Thaddeus Stevens. HVACR, if I could say in few words what it is, it's a combination of a lot of different trades all combined into one. So here what we're going to do is we're going to go into piping, uh, steel piping, electricity, fluid movement, you could say, I, I don't like to say a jack of all trades, I like to say a master of all trades because you, uh, you, you have to, serious things can happen, complications can happen if you're not an expert in your different areas. We start off with theory. Uh, you have an hour of theory or so a day, job, we talk about the different jobs that we do on campus. That theory though, you're expected to be prepared for your theory. There will be tests and quizzes and stuff. Studying is important, attendance is very important. So the theory aspect's there, and then what we like to do is reinforce that in the shop right here next to me. In fact, is a, a modern trainer that we just got that has the computer now. So a new type of, uh, now in HVAC, you're not only going to be getting dirty doing the refrigerant and connecting, but you also have to know your programming of controls. Like I said, HVAC is, R is a combination of many different trades. What we do with the students, the students will learn to work on a trainer, and then we move them to some live equipment in the shop. And then in the second year, we have a lot of students working throughout our campus, uh, working on different, uh, different you know, equipment on the campus. We have old and new stuff. We use the campus as our extended laboratory, you could say. Students in this program, the shop's open. We have tutors in here. They come in after. So there's always students working in our computer lab. There's always tutors there helping people. So this shop pretty much is open from 7 30 in the morning till 10 o'clock at night there's people in the shop. It's one thing you could say about HVAC is it's never boring. There's always, it's always something new to learn. Uh, always, you're not doing the same thing all the time. Coming in here, you will have to, you know, study. You will have to get, you will get dirty and you have to have a head on your shoulders, you know, but the rewards are there. I hope this answers all your questions about what we do in HVACR, Heating, Ventilation, Air Conditioning, and Refrigeration. And if you have any questions, you can contact me, Matt Gote. Hope to see you at Stevens. I'm Robert Lloyd. I'm a second year HVAC student. To be successful in HVAC, you want to learn as much as you can. You want to be able to understand different perspectives of a whole bunch of information. If you can just pick something up, read it, that's great. If you can pick something up, do it, that's even better. You want to be able to take math, get as high as you can in math. So then you, when you come in here, all the stuff in here will just come naturally to you. If you can study electrical, carpentry, plumbing, just all types of fields and learn as much as you can that's going to help you really well. You're going to start by soldering and brazing. If you can do that, great. You want to be able to know that you have the skills to go out in the future and do it for real. This is the stepping stone for your future career that you're going to be doing for 30 plus years. But what you really need to do is learn the book, learn the theory aspect of it, read as much information as you can, and get real versed on that because then once you take the book put it to the hands on it all makes sense from making sense then you can go troubleshooting the next step further into that because that's where you make all your money and coming here it's not about money it's about wanting to learn that's what you're going to be to be successful if you can just put your best foot forward learn as much as you can that's how you're going to be successful. Instructors here, the first year instructor, he doesn't expect much from you unless you go to a Votech school, CTC. Then he has a little higher standard for you, but everyone basically is on the even playing field. Whether you pick it up or not, that's how he determines your projects moving on forth. He, he'll show you the, the theory aspect of it over and over again so you can get versed into it. The second year instructor has high expectations from you. He assumes that you already know from the first year that 
what you're doing is correct. So he's not going to sit there and baby you. He's going to tell you, go do this, and when you come back, expect it to be done and done right. Attendance at Thaddeus Stevens is very important. If you miss one day, you're fine, but if you keep missing day after day after day, you're going to be not only cut back in what you're learning, but you have to make all that up. You have to take the test when you come right back if you miss that because it's no slack. You have to do the work. And if you miss it, it's just going to pile up. And also, if you come here and you miss five days or so, you're going to get kicked out because it's just like real work. If you miss days after days after days, they're going to let you go because they'll find someone else to fill that spot. And that's what it takes to be successful in HVAC. If you just do what I've said in this video, you'll be a success story from Thaddeus Stevens.